Greetings gastronauts, this is Keith Cooks, I'm Keith, and today I'm going to do something that you really should not go anywhere near if you've got high cholesterol. I'm going to make omelette Arnold Bennett. Arnold Bennett was a British novelist and playwright in the 1930s. He was actually the most popular, the best-selling and the wealthiest writer of his generation. So he made the most of it, he travelled a lot and uh, he always used to stay at the Savoy Hotel in London. And the story goes that one day he asked them to make him an omelette with uh, bechamel sauce and fish and cheese. <laughs> an odd combination but oh my goodness it, it certainly works. Um, so they did and uh, it became a regular item on the, on the uh, menu and it's still there. It's incredible. I personally don't think I'd want it for breakfast more than once a month. <laughs> but it really is. It's incredibly rich and fantastic and quite easy to make. So if you enjoy this video, give it a like, share, subscribe, etc. And let's get on with it. Omelette, Arnold Bennett. First of all, get yourself a, a frying pan or a skillet to cook your omelette in. This is 20 centimetres, that's eight inches. And the ingredients, four eggs, 200 ml of milk, 125 ml of double cream, heavy cream, 250 grams of smoked haddock, about 50 grams of cheese, add some eggs, half and half of parmesan and cheddar. If you want to be proper authentic, you would use gruyere, you know, that Swiss one. A small onion, a bay leaf, a small handful of parsley for garnish mostly, salt and pepper to taste, and a bit of butter and flour to make a roux for the sauce. If you can't get a smoked haddock, you can use smoked salmon, in which case you won't need to pre-cook it, just chuck it in towards the end. Uh, or you could use any white fish and maybe some powdered smoke or smoked paprika or something that tastes smoky. Or not. First of all, I'm going to pre-cook the fish. So I've got a slightly larger pan to fit this into. Just go over the fish to see if you can find any bones. That seems to be fine. And then trim it. That's not much good for anything. I'll chuck that in anyway, because it'll give a bit of flavor to the, the liquid. And, uh, you want to cut the fish so you can get it in, in a single layer. Now, peel the onion and just cut it quite roughly. that in there. Basically the, the onion won't finish up in the, the sauce, it's just to infuse its flavour. And the bay leaf and the milk and some pepper. Put that on the stove, bring it up to boiling, turn it down to simmer for about 10 minutes until the fish has turned opaque. And you can cover it with a lid if you like. Now the fish is flaking away, so we'll take that off the heat and I was going to say fish it out of the uh, cooking liquor, but that would be a horrible pun. And I don't do those. Now we'll strain the liquid and keep that for the sauce but we don't need the onion and the other bits. And now get a couple of forks and just separate the, the fish from the skin. Now we're going to make the bechamel sauce. So you want to melt a good knob of butter in a saucepan and then add an equal quantity of flour and stir those together to get a nice smooth paste. Let those cook for a minute or two and then add the liquid that the fish was cooked in and the cream and some salt and stir well until the sauce thickens then take it off the heat until we need it. Now I've got the grill on to heat up the broiler and maybe you can hear that slight buzzing in the background. Don't worry about it. So break your eggs into a bowl and give them a bit of a whiz. 
all mixed together. I'm going to pop in some salt. Actually, a bit of parsley. Now to cook the omelette, I've got my 20 centimeter pan on medium heat and I'll just spray it with a bit of a spray oil and then pour your eggs in. Let those cook for a few minutes and when it started to set on the bottom, use a spatula to pull the egg away from the edge of the pan. And when it's almost set, you can put it under the grill if you want to you know, get some heat on it from the top. Then put your fish on, pour on the bechamel sauce and sprinkle the cheese on top and put that under the grill until the top is golden and bubbling and then you're done. I should have mentioned that you'll need a frying pan that doesn't have a plastic handle otherwise it will melt. Well, let's uh, cut a wedge if we can. This was me trying not to use a knife because I'll get people complaining that I'm destroying the pan. However, the pan's almost had it anyway. Ooh, yeah. Ah, right, taste test time, my reward. <laughs> I feel like it's been a hard slog, but it isn't really. If if you're not filming it, you just go straight for it and you can do it in, I don't know, probably 15 minutes. So, a little bit of lemon juice. And get stuck in. Mmm, oh my goodness. Well, I told you, it was insanely rich and mad, but once in a while, you deserve it. By the way, I sometimes get people asking what's happened to Mrs. Keith Cooks. Uh, nothing has happened except she's got a new job that leaves her totally exhausted when she comes home and unfit to do a taste test, she says. So um, that's all it is. Uh, so sorry about that. Just me, like it always used to be. Mm -hmm. Omelette Arnold Bennett. Thank you, Arnold. You're a star. <laughs> or you were. And that is magnificent. Please try it. Thanks for watching, and see you next time.